channel this guy shops uh, we'll go ahead and get into part two of my candle collection this will be fall and winter and then I have some coffee and chocolate candles and then you'll see my candles that have the glass lids on top and thank you to everyone who's been watching and liking my videos I appreciate you guys I'm loving my journey here on YouTube and I just appreciate everyone who's watching all right let's go ahead and get into part two all right next up we have the Halloween candles from 2021 I have the ghoul friend and the skull and moon packaging comes with a spider lid it has the pink wax this has scent notes of dark strawberry ghostly peony and spine chilling citrus absolutely love this candle you get the floral with a little bit of the citrus and then i also have two more so i have a total of three of those and then we also have the vampire blood and the bat and snake packaging. Comes with a plain lid. It has the red wax. I am almost done with this one. I'll probably put this one in my use it up and get it burned this month. It has blood red strawberry, midnight blooming jasmine, and dark Transylvania plum. Love this candle. The strawberry really comes through strong in this one. And then I also have a second one in the same packaging. This one I have not yet burned. And then from 2021, we have a Wicked Apple with the Ghost and Apple packaging with the wraparound label. It comes with a spider lid. It has white wax. This is very like gooey caramel apple. It has scent notes of ghostly green apple, creepy caramel drizzle, and vicious vanilla bean. And then I have a second one. And then from this year, I have a pumpkin carving, which is sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Love this packaging. It comes with the little like vines with the spider web on the lid and a little bat. And then this comes with the orange wax. And this has scent notes of uh, freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. And again, this is a repackage of spiced cinnamon pumpkin. And then we have the classic vampire blood. Again with the bats. Kind of a Stranger Things vibe. It comes with the same lid. Again, it has the red wax like last, the year before. And it has the same scent notes there. And then we have the ghoul friend from this year. Love this packaging. The holographic with the hands and the roses. Or the, sorry, the peonies, not roses. Same lid. Has the purple wax. Very vibrant this year. And then again, the same scent notes as the last year's. And then next up, I picked up an enchanted candy potion. From Halloween this year. Love this packaging as well with the moon and the stars. It has a black lid. Comes with the white wax. Burned pretty nicely. I'm almost done with this one. I'll probably add this to use it up as well for January and get this burned through. It has set notes of spellbinding sugar, bewitched berries, and whipped pixie dust. And then I also have two of those. This one I haven't burned yet. I'll put this one in my use it up this month. And then next up we have the fall candles. This, this candle collection came out in September of last year. I have the chocolate espresso martini. It has set notes of coffee liqueur, espresso, splash of vodka, and dark chocolate swirl. This candle smells amazing. I'm not, not sure when I'm going to burn this candle. Love the packaging. And in the same collection, we have the Thanksgiving celebration. I probably will never burn this candle. It does not smell that good. 
It has set notes of mashed potatoes, side of gravy, and sage stuffing. It has the white wax there. You get nothing but sage in this candle. And then the gravy note is just really weird. And then another candle I probably won't burn. The candied maple bacon. And it has scent notes of crispy bacon, maple brown sugar, and smoked applewood. Again, a candle I'll probably just keep for a long time. Probably won't burn it. Just something to have in my collection. And then the last one in the collection, I have the salted caramel pretzel. I love this packaging. It comes with the white wax. It has scent notes of freshly baked soft pretzel, brown butter caramel, and sea salt. Absolutely love this candle. It smells amazing. I'm holding on to this candle for a little while before I burn it. But I can't wait to burn it. I love chocolate covered pretzels. And then I picked this up about a year and a half ago. It's a sweet kettle corn. It has like the leaves on the packaging. Comes with the yellow wax. And it smells exactly like kettle corn. They got this one right on the nose with the scent notes and the name. And it has scent notes of freshly popped kettle corn, creamy caramel, and sprinkled with sugar and sea salt. Again, you get the kettle corn, the caramel, the sugar, and the sea salt. It all blends very well together. I really want to burn this one, but I'm also holding on to it. Just because I've never seen it come out again. And then I picked up this one this year, the Old Fashioned Cider Donut. I burned this one a couple of times. This one's okay. It's not a strong thrower. It has the red wax. And it has the little boxy lid. Textured. And it has the donuts and the apple. <clears throat> and it has scent notes of Old Fashioned Cake Donut, Baked Apple, Sprinkled with Brown Sugar Cinnamon. And then next up in the fall, we have the Banana Walnut Muffin. I love this packaging. It has a galvanized lid or a like spotty lid. It comes with the yellow wax. I burned this one once for like a like an hour maybe. Not a huge fan of it. It has scent notes of sweet banana, golden nutmeg, and cinnamon sugar muffin. It does smell good. It's just... I'm not a fan of it burning, but I'm also not a huge fan of like banana walnut muffins. And then all of these are in the same collection here from fall last year with the pumpkin lid. Love this lid. Look how textured it is. All the cute little pumpkins on there. And this is the blueberry maple pancakes. Again, I love this packaging as well. It comes with the blue wax. This one is very strong in the blueberry. And it has scent notes of wild blueberries, golden fresh pancakes, and warm maple syrup. For some people, this candle is too strong. And it's understandable. Very strong in the blueberry and the maple syrup, I believe, in my opinion. Love that candle. And I also have a caramel pumpkin swirl. Again, with the same lid. This comes with like the tan wax. This one smells absolutely amazing. You get the cinnamon and you get the pumpkin. And it has scent notes of luscious caramel, ground cinnamon, rich brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. And you really get that caramel, the cinnamon, the vanilla. Absolutely love this candle. And then next up, the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. Again, this is the candle that is the pumpkin carving candle for Halloween. It has the orange wax. It has scent notes of warm cinnamon, fresh ground clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. Not a huge fan of this candle. It's very strong in the clove and the cinnamon, which I'm not a huge fan of. Also have a pumpkin apple. This comes in the pink wax. It does smell very good. 
feel like it's one of their classic fall scents. It has scent notes of red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, and clove buds. And then last up here for fall, we have pumpkin cinnamon bun. Absolutely love this packaging. I love this candle, the smell of it. You can see I'm almost done with it. It has the white wax there. And it has scent notes of warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. Absolutely love this candle. I have a couple more burns left, so I might put this in the kitchen this month. Just to go ahead and use it up. All right, and that's it for my fall candles. Let's go ahead and move on to the Christmas candles. All right, so first up here, we have the Giving Tuesday collection. This is the Give Comfort. This is the Peach on Earth. It has the pink wax. It's very strong. It has scent notes of fresh peach, sweet cinnamon, and frosted vanilla. You really do get the peach and the vanilla. Can't wait to burn this one. And we also have the Give Cheer, which is in strawberry sparkler. This is the purple wax. And this has scent notes of strawberry prosecco, splash of rose water, and vanilla bean. I absolutely love anything with prosecco in it. Yep, this candle smells exactly like I thought it would. You really get the prosecco, it comes through strong. I love their prosecco candles. And then we also have the Give Hope and the Peppermint Marshmallow. This is the red wax. It has scent notes of crushed peppermint, fluffy marshmallows, and powdered sugar. Smells just like a peppermint and marshmallow blend. Really nice. And then the last one in the Giving Tuesday, I have Give Thanks, which is the fresh winter air. And this is the green wax. I love that they did different color waxes for each of the candles. And then the scent notes on this is zesty citrus, fresh peppermint, and cold evergreen. And the evergreen and the peppermint really comes through on this candle. And then up next, this was the, I believe, the 2022 New Year's collection. I have the blueberry sugar. This is like the stars and the sparkler packaging. Almost done with this one. It has scent notes of sweet blueberries, brown sugar, and graham cracker crust. This is the same candle that was blended with the sugar lemonade earlier, that purple one. And then we have the lovely strawberry pound cake in the New Year's packaging. And this has like, kind of like purple, like gray toned colored wax in it. And then er everyone knows the scent notes by now, but it's fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. This one's a very nice candle. And then I have the peach Bellini in the New Year's packaging. I love this packaging. And then this is the pink wax. And the scent notes on Peach Bellini are succulent white peach, sparkling prosecco, and sweet orange. And again, the prosecco really comes through. And you get the nice blend of the peach and the orange. And then the last one in that collection is the Black Cherry Merlot. Absolutely love the packaging on all of these candles. This was the purple wax. And the scent notes on this are dark cherry, black raspberry, and sumptuous Merlot. I love black cherry Merlot. And then up next, we have the collection from 2021, I believe. The plaid collection. This is the berry spritzer in the blue plaid. Comes with the white wax. I'm about halfway through this one. 
This one's uh, very nice. It's a medium throw. And the scent notes on this one are frozen juniper berries, fresh cranberries, cool peppermint, and white cedar. And then we also have cranberry pear bellini in the gray plaid. This has the white wax. Haven't burned this one yet. The scent notes are fizzy pear nectar, sparkling red cranberries, lush apricot, and tart black currant. And then here we have in the red plaid, we have the red velvet cupcake. I was so happy when I seen this candle pop up. I think it was for candle day in 2021. It has the white wax there. It has scent notes of lush red velvet cake, cream cheese frosting, and sweet vanilla. And I had bought three of these. I had bought three of these thinking that this was going to be the best candle ever. And it has the lightest throw, I think, on any candle I've ever smelled. So I had to return the other two. And I was so sad because I thought this candle was going to be amazing. And it's so good on cold, but when you burn it, you just get like nothing. And then we have the hot buttered rum. This has the white wax. And this has scent notes of dark buttered rum, warm caramel, mauling spice, and vanilla bourbon. This candle smells amazing. You really get the buttered rum mixed with the caramel and the spices. And then last up in the plaid collection, I have vanilla balsam and the green plaid. Comes with white wax. I haven't burned this one yet. It's a nice balsam scent though. Comes with the scent notes of balsam fir, frosted vanilla, and snow-capped pine needles. This one smells amazing. It smells just like a vanilla Christmas tree. I will burn this one one day, and I can't wait. And then next up, we have the blue spruce and spice. With the little housing landscaping packaging. This came with light blue wax. And this has scent notes of blue spruce, nutmeg, and warm amber. The spruce and the amber, I think, are very strong in this candle. And then I have a holiday. And that cool little ornament packaging. Comes with the white wax. And this has scent notes of red cinnamon stick. Christmas clove buds and ground nutmeg. I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon or clove buds. So this candle like might end up being a gift. I don't think I'll burn this candle. But I think somebody else will like it though. Alright, up next we have the Love Cotton Candy Champagne. It has the red lid. The white wax. Absolutely love this candle. I'm so sad they haven't came back with it yet. They did come back with it in a single wick, but I want it in a three wick. And this has scent notes of bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. It really does just smell like a champagne cotton candy. I love this candle. It smells amazing. And then in the same packaging, I have the Joy and the sugared snickerdoodle. Love this packaging with the Christmas tree and the stars and snowflakes. And this has the white wax. Smells absolutely amazing. And it has scent notes of warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. And you really just get like vanilla and snickerdoodle spices. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And then here I have the snowy peach berry from 2021. The little pink snowflake packaging. I'm not a huge fan of peach, but for some reason I really, I really like latched on to snowy peach berry when I first started shopping at Bath and Body Works. And this has scent notes of sweet peaches, tart cranberry, and sugared musk. It does smell very good though. It comes with the white wax.
And then here we have Sugared Snickerdoodle in another packaging with the gingerbread man and woman. Absolutely love this packaging. This comes with the snowflake lid. Comes with the white wax. Smells the same as the last one and has the same scent notes, warm spices, creamy vanilla, and sugared musk. And then here we have the Merry Cookie from Candle Day this year. Absolutely love this packaging with the gingerbread men. It kind of looks like um, wrapping paper. Comes with like this falling stars and lights kind of thing on the lid. It has the white wax. And this candle is very strong, just smells like a creamy cookie. It has scent notes of fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. And it smells exactly like that, a sugar vanilla cookie. Absolutely recommend this scent any time of the year. And then here I have it from the 2021 packaging. With the gingerbread man having fun in the little snow and landscape. And this came with like kind of like a tannish brownish wax with those thick rope wicks. And again, it has the same scent notes, fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar crystals, and rich vanilla. Smells so good. Okay, and then up next, I picked this up this year, Caramel and Oud in the white barn packaging, the nice like matte gray. Comes with the white wax. Smells very good. You really get the caramel and the oud wood. It has salted caramel, tonka bean, and oud wood. I love tonka bean. It's one of my favorite notes and in the colognes and any perfume. And then we also have a pistachio and toasted vanilla. This is my second one. I burned through my first one in like two or three days. Absolutely delicious. If this candle ever comes out again, we need to know because we need to stock up on it because this candle is one of the best candles I've ever had from Bath & Body Works. It comes with the white wax. Oh my God, it smells so good, you guys. I'm so afraid to burn this one because I don't know if it's coming back. And it has scent notes of salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds, and it just smells so good. When you burn this candle, the, the toasted vanilla and the pistachio blend so well together. This is a 10 out of 10 candle right here. And then next up, we have my hot cocoa and cream three wicks. I have it from 2021 and 2022. These are my two vault candles that I'm collecting from each year. The 2021 came with white wax. And 2022 came with the brown wax. And I love this packaging. Little nutcracker scene with the dog and they're like skiing on an ice rink. And this has scent notes of decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. So exactly like a cup of hot cocoa. And this packaging has the hot cocos with the mitts and the ice skates. This candle is my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. I stock up on it every year. I've already burned through like two or three, I think this year. And then next up, we have the peppermint sugar cookie. This is from 2021. And it has scent notes of crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. I have not yet to burn one of these candles yet. It has the white wax. It smells delicious though. I can't wait to burn one next year. I have that one and then I also have this year's packaging. With the little dog and the, the girl there next to the fireplace. And this came with like kind of like a lightish mint green wax. Same scent notes. This one has the falling stars. And then this one here 
came with the snowflakes on the lid. And then here we have gingerbread marshmallow with that cute little snow scene with the polar bear. I can't believe the royal polar bear didn't really make a return this year besides the little pocket back holder. This candle has the snowflake lid on it, has the white wax. I burned this one a couple times, it's okay, it's a medium throw. It has scent notes of gingerbread spice, eggnog, spice rum, and vanilla frosting, brown sugar crystals. Smells good on cold, but it has a medium throw in my opinion. And then from 2021, I have a Cookies with Santa with the nice matte gray lid. Has the fireplace with the cat and the presents. I love this packaging. It has the white wax. This one smells this one smells very good. It's fresh cinnamon, brown sugar, and a drop of vanilla. So it smells exactly like a vanilla brown sugar cookie. And then another cookie scent from this year was Twas the Night Before Christmas with Santa and the Reindeers. And this has a little Christmas tree on the lid. This came with the white wax. And this has scent notes of Santa's fresh baked cookies, a warm mug of milk with a dash of cinnamon and nutmeg. And this one is a very nice cookie scent. You get a nice cinnamon vanilla cookie out of this. So I absolutely love this candle, the packaging and the smell. Can't wait to burn that next year. And then I have from 2021, I have a pink fairy gumdrop and the stockings and ornament and the pink packaging. Some people don't like this jar style, but I think it's cute. It has the white wax. And it has scent notes of sparkling sugar berries, pink cotton candy, and a sprinkle of fairy dust. Smells very good. It smells just like a sweet cotton candy. And then I was lucky enough to pick up this year's packaging inside of the store. It was an online exclusive but I was able to find it inside of a store one day. And it has the same scent notes. So there's those. Let me know down in the comments which packaging you guys like better. I kind of like them evenly. I'm not sure which one I like better. And then here we have a Twisted Peppermint from 2021. It has the snowflake lid. It has the pink wax on the inside there. And this has scent notes of cool peppermint, sugared snow, vanilla buttercream, and fresh Boston with a hint of musk. So the peppermint is very strong in this candle. I, I like pairing this inside of the shower with the shower gel. And then we have a crushed candy cane from this year's packaging with the snowman. This has the snowflake lid. And this came with the pink wax as well. And it has scent notes of Crunchy peppermint, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. So this candle is more like a literal crushed candy cane. Whereas twisted peppermint is like very eucalyptus peppermint kind of feel. So this one is nice. And then we have the land of snow from this year. I wasn't sure what this was going to smell like when I first saw it. But reading the scent notes here, it's not what I thought it was going to be. It is snowy cypress, ice juniper berries, and frozen oak moss. It does smell good though. I, I could see burning this on a first snow day though. It has the white wax in there. And then here we have the eucalyptus snowfall and the white barn packaging with that figure skate. 
comes with the white wax. And this has scent notes of frozen eucalyptus, snowy spearmint, and winter lavender. Smells very, very good. This is like a really nice candle to burn on like a really snowy, cold day. Especially if you're feeling a little sick. And then here we have from 2021, we have a winter candy apple. With that cool sleigh with the little presents there. And this comes with the white wax. This is kind of like a frosted glass. It's really cool looking. It has scent notes of candied apples, crisp pears, and oranges. Not a huge fan of winter candy apple. But I'm hoping it will like grow on me one day. One of these winter seasons. And then I also have from 2021, I have a ice cranberry scone. In the white barn packaging. It's like a light blue. It comes with the white wax. And it has scent notes of fresh cranberry, crumbly brown sugar, and sweet vanilla. And the brown sugar and vanilla really comes through in this candle. I love this candle. And then the last candle crate that I have is from Candle Day of 2022. I have a Tipsy Elf. And it has scent notes of Merry Vanilla, Jolly Nutmeg, and a Sneaky Elf with a heavy splash of rum. Yep, that Sneaky Elf, adding that splash of rum. I love the packaging here. I'm about halfway through this one. And then I also have a second one. This comes with like a light pink wax. And I'm not sure why, but they have two different lids. Maybe I did that, I'm not sure. And then I have a wine cellar. Love this packaging. And then this has scent notes of mauled apples, fresh fig, and cedar wood. It has this nice purple wax. I don't really get a smell from it on cold. And I think people said that it was very light when it was burning. So I'm not sure if I'll burn this candle or when I will burn it. But I love the packaging on it. And then here we have unicorn sprinkles. When this candle came out, I was so happy. I was like, I have to have this candle. Like, uh, the donuts and the fact that it says unicorn sprinkles. Like, I just had to have this candle. And it comes with the white wax here. And it has scent notes of fluffy cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, and sugared lemon. And this has a little different smell from Tutti Frutti candy. This is a more lemony cotton candy. Whereas the Tutti Frutti candy, I feel like, is more... Like, just lemon candy, like jelly beans. And I absolutely love this candle. I'm burning one right now. And I'm almost done with it. So I bought two this year. And then the last candle here in the candle crate. I have a French baguette. I think this candle came out in 2012. It has the white wax. It smells just like straight up bread. And it has scent notes of slow rising dough, crispy crust, and a pat of butter. I and I also got two of those. Some of these I have backups because I did an online order and I went in store. And I wasn't sure what was going to get canceled or what wasn't going to be there. Alright, and then up next are the candles that were on my bookcase. These are my coffee and chocolate candles. I have a fa la la latte. With the Christmas tree lid. Comes in the white wax. I absolutely love this candle. A lot of people hated it, but I thought it smelled uh, delicious. And it has scent notes of a shot of espresso, sweet vanilla foam topped with warm cookie crumbles. It smells absolutely amazing. You really just get like a chocolate espresso. Love that one. And then I have the famous Paris Cafe. If you guys want a coffee candle, you have to get Paris Cafe. I think it comes out every year. But this candle is absolutely amazing in the coffee scent. 
it comes with a white wax and it has like a brown ombre effect on the on the jar here and it has scent notes of rich roasted coffee sugared brioche and vanilla cream it is such an amazing coffee scent you get the sweet coffee and it just smells so good and then here from this year i had the cinnamon irish cream I wasn't sure if I was going to like this candle, and I absolutely fell in love with it. It comes with that kind of lid. It has like a kind of like a grayish, uh, I don't like a grayish purple wax kind of. And then it has scent notes of cinnamon spice liqueur, Irish cream, and French vanilla. The Irish cream and the French vanilla really comes through. And then you get that hint of the cinnamon. It smells amazing when it's burning. It is a strong thrower. And then last up in my coffee candles, I have a brown sugar latte. I love this packaging. And this is from 2021. And it has the scent notes of freshly roasted coffee, froth milk, and sugar praline. Smells so good. The brown sugar really comes through. It, sm it smells exactly like a brown sugar latte. And I was so sad that I was only able to find one of these that year. And then in my chocolate candles, because you guys know I love my chocolate candles, I have the chocolate banana mud slide. This comes with the white wax. And it has scent notes of frozen bananas, chocolate syrup, crushed ice, and a splash of rum. It smells pretty good. You really get the chocolate and the banana. I can't wait to burn it to see if it's a strong thrower or not. And then I have a mint chocolate chip milkshake. Absolutely love this packaging. The mint green is amazing. It has the dust cover. It has a mint green wax here, and it smells so good. It smells exactly like a mint chocolate milkshake, and it has scent notes of vanilla mint ice cream, chunky chocolate chips, and whipped cream. This is from 2021. Can't wait to burn that candle. All right, next up, we have the peppermint hot chocolate. I was so happy to pick this up this year. I can't wait to burn it next year. It'll be my first year burning it. And this has scent notes of sweet peppermint, silky milk chocolate, and sweet cream. It is a really nice blend of the peppermint with the chocolate. And then here we have my second favorite chocolate candle, the Hot Fudge Drizzle. I was only able to find one of these at SAS this year, and I was so sad. I've seen people have like 20 of them in their store. But I was very grateful to have one of them. It comes with the like, light blue wax. And the little kind of lid there. And this has scent notes of rich melted chocolate, vanilla bean, and a dash of brown sugar. And it smells exactly like the Hershey's chocolate syrup that you put on Sundays. It smells absolutely amazing. We have chocolate chip cookie, and this has the white wax. I'm about halfway through this one. And this has scent notes of oven-baked cookies, gooey chocolate chips, and a hint of flaky salt. And when you're burning this in the kitchen, it smells exactly like fresh baked cookies are burning in the oven. It smells so amazing. I have that one, and then I picked up two more at SAS this year. That's those two right there. Absolutely love this candle. And then next up we have the Signature Scents candles. I have a Japanese Cherry Blossom. It has the red wax on the inside there. It has scent notes of pear, Japanese cherry blossom, and sandalwood. And then here we have champagne toast. I got this out of the purchase with purchase box last year. 
It has the pink wax. And this has scent notes of bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and sweet orange. And then next up, we have You're the One. It comes with the white wax. It has scent notes of white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. Has a nice perfume scent to it. it smells very good. Here we have one of my favorites for nighttime. We have Into the Night. That nice moon packaging. This comes with white wax. The scent notes on this one are sugared raspberry, velvet rose petals, shimmering amber, and creamy musk. And then this year I picked up a Dream Bright. Absolutely love this packaging. One of my favorite packagings. And this comes with the white wax. And this has scent notes of sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. And I have two of those. Again, love this packaging. Love this scent. And then the last candles that I have in my collection are the glass jar candles. I have a ice blueberry biscotti with the blue lid. And these lids are glass. And these are the more expensive candles. This one stood it up a lot. But this is one of the very first candles I burned. And I don't think I had a lot of experience burning the candles yet. And then this one came out in 2021. It has scent notes of sugared blueberries, sweet vanilla icing, and almond biscotti with brown sugar. It smells very good. And then I picked up a toasted coconut eclair comes with the white glass jar lid, the white wax. And this has scent notes of fresh baked donut, milk chocolate frosting, and toasted coconut flakes. This candle smells very good. It took me a couple weeks to hunt it down and find it. I was so happy to find one. I have a springtime in Paris with the green lid. Very beautiful lid. This is very floral. It has scent notes of soft peach, lotus blossom, and fresh bergamot. And then I have one of my all-time favorite candles from 2021. This is the pink Prosecco frosting with the pink lid. I love this jar so much and I love this lid. You can tell right there it has like a cupcake. So this is more like a gourmet one. This is pink sugared buttercream, fresh blackberries, and chilled Prosecco. It kind of smells just like a Prosecco cupcake. And this candle right here, every time I light it up, it just makes me smile. It makes me happy. Literally one of my favorite candles. So I have two of those here, not burned. And then I have two more here, not burned. So I have a total of four of those, just to show you guys there. And then next we have the Spooky Cider Lane from 2022 Halloween. This had the skull lid. It came with the black wax. And then this is the lid here. Very cool. It has indents here on the inside. And the scent notes on this one is bone chilling bourbon, glazed apples, and magical maple syrup with voodoo vanilla. I was happy to pick up two of those. I got one at Halloween and then I got one at an outlet mall. And then here we have the perfect Christmas. It has the Santa lid. Absolutely love this lid. And the perfect Christmas has scent notes of fresh cut pine, cinnamon sugar, and toasted marshmallow. And then here we have the last four candles. We have Winter Candy Apple. These are the glass candles that came out for Christmas 2022. We have the red one. Winter Candy Apple is red apples, crisp pear, and candied oranges. So I have two of those. 
And then we have a Fireside. It came with the white lid. With the snowflakes on it, very beautiful. The Fireside. And this has scent notes of smoked cedar, fresh clove bud, and warm embers. And I have two of those. I picked up the cedar and suede with the green lid. This has scent notes of soft cedar, warm incense, and velvety suede. So I was able to pick up two of those last year. And then the last candle in my candle collection, I have the frozen lake and the blue glass lid. And this has scent notes of lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus, and juniper berries. And this candle has a very strong throw to it. I love this candle during Christmas, during the winter time. It smells amazing, it has the white wax. And again with the, the snowflake blue lid. I love the glass jar lids, I think they're amazing looking. I think they're worth the price. But I like to get them at like the $12.95 or the $10.95 sales. So I was able to pick up two of those. All right, everyone, that is my candle collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate everybody. I hope you guys have a great day. And if you guys missed my part one of my candle collection, I'll have it right over here. And if you guys want to check out my channel, I'll have it right here. And you guys have a great day. Thank you.